The Caribbean is bigger than many people realize, and when you look beyond the mass market shores the tourist brochures describe, you will find a variety of sun-splashed islands well worth your attention. They are not only beautiful, but a lot more affordable than most people realize. Here are five Caribbean islands that won't break the bank, and two that just might. Mention the word Caribbean and most people think of places like Aruba, the Turks and Caicos, the Bahamas, and other tourist-rich dollops of sand. The region conjures well-deserved images of crystal clear waters and white sand beaches, and there is no question, if you like sun and sand, these islands are great for a vacation. But move there? Most folks assume it's just too expensive, and don't give it another thought. But that's really too bad because the Caribbean is bigger than many people realize. And when you look beyond the mass market shores the tourist brochures describe, you will find a variety of sun-splashed islands well worth your attention. They are not only beautiful, but a lot more affordable than most people realize. Hi, I'm Jen Stevens, Executive Editor at International Living. In this video, we are going to talk about islands that share the same turquoise blue waters and powder white beaches that you expect when you hear Caribbean, only you won't pay a fortune to live on any of them. Here are five Caribbean islands that won't break the bank and two that just might. Ambergris Key, Belize. About 30 years ago, English speaking Ambergris Key became a hot spot for divers and fishermen thanks to the Belize Barrier Reef just a half mile offshore. This natural wonderland of living coral supports a dizzying array of marine life, and it is the main reason Ambergris has seen its recent and significant growth. Expats give up little living on Ambergris Key. Power, water, cell phone coverage, and internet are, are reliable, and you can buy most necessities for daily living on the island. Regular water taxis and flights make it easy to take a quick shopping trip in Belize City or to Chetamal, Mexico. The selection of quality restaurants and bars is constantly expanding. For between $29.50 and $31.50 per month, a couple can enjoy a comfortable retirement on Ambergris Key, a budget that includes the cost of a house or apartment rental. If you own your own home on the island outright, then expats report it's possible for a couple to live quite comfortably on less than $2,000 a month. Roatan, Honduras. An emerald escape in the Western Caribbean, Roatan has quietly graduated from a secret diver's getaway to livable island haven. The beaches here are quiet and pristine, life is laid back, lived in rhythm with the sun and the surf. No big name resorts, no spring break strips, no high rise developments. This is old school Caribbean, though fitted out with modern conveniences. Life on an island is often more expensive than mainland living. Almost everything has to be imported after all. But relative to the rest of the Caribbean, Roatan offers excellent value. Daily life lived well is affordable on Roatan, a budget of 2,000 to 2,500 a month all in for an average retired couple. Isla Mujeres, Mexico. If your thoughts of retirement include a Caribbean island with warm tropical waters, ample sunshine, easy access, and an affordable full lifestyle, perhaps Isla Mujeres is what you seek. Or maybe you're looking for a winter escape from the cold and snow. In either case, Isla Mujeres is worth a long, hard look. The tiny tropical island, the Isle of Women as it's called, located just off the coast of eastern Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, has rightly earned its reputation as a popular expat destination and a world-class vacation retreat. And tiny is an accurate description at only four miles long and a bit more than one half mile wide. A couple can live a very nice life on Isla Mujeres for around $36,000 a year or between $2,500 and $3,000 a month, including rent. Las Terrenas, Dominican Republic. 
Situated on the Samana Peninsula on the Dominican Republic's north coast, the thriving town of Las Terrenas offers a laid-back beach lifestyle, a dining scene ranging from casual to upscale, modern services, warm weather year-round, and a lower cost of living. The history of Las Terrenas is as an expat destination is what gives it its European flair. The first foreigners, French, started coming to this once tiny fishing village in the 1970s when it was all rough roads and no electricity. Then the Italians came. Today you can still find excellent French bakeries and Italian restaurants, and the local grocery stores are well stocked with imported, though expensive, wine, cheese, charcuterie, and more. A couple can live in this tropical haven for around $2,000 a month, although most choose to spend closer to $3,000 a month. Isla Colon, Panama. Not many people know that Panama has its own tropical archipelagos. Set on the Caribbean coast close to the border with Costa Rica, Bocas del Toro is a group of nine main islands and a few hundred smaller cayos and islets dotting calm turquoise waters. The main hub is bustling Bocas town on the large island of Isla Colón. It's a ramshackle seaside town of brightly painted buildings, many on stilts over the water. It's the home base for most visitors and where the majority of expats live. And you don't need to be a millionaire to live there. You can rent a one or two bedroom home for as little as $600 to $1,200 a month, including your rent. Your cost of living in Bocas could be as low as $2,000 a month. Now, two to avoid. The beauty and tropical appeal of St. Thomas and Grand Bahama are impossible to deny. An expat traveling with unlimited funds might well choose either for his island getaway, but for anybody who's budget conscious, these Caribbean retreats will prove hard on the wallet. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave us a comment below letting us know what you think.